Hey VC, this is Michael, this is Notes and Tomes, and for this episode I want to talk about a recording that was on a number of critics' best of uh, 2020. It's Charles Lloyd's Kindred Spirits, and I want to go through sort of an unboxing, um, if you will, of the box set of um, Charles Lloyd's Kindred Spirits. And here's the cover, and this comes with a hardcover photo book, which I'll, I'll get into in a few minutes. Comes with two photographs of Charles Lloyd. What, that one was unsigned. This one is signed right down there and numbered. It comes with two CDs, the album on two CDs, a DVD of the live performance, and the whole the recording is a live performance. And a three LPs. And the musicians on this recording are, of course, Charles Lloyd. You have Gerald Clayton on piano, Julian Lang guitar, Ruben Rogers bass, Don was based on tracks five and six and Booker T. Jones, just that Booker T on organ and he's also on piano and he does vocals also. Eric Harlan on drums and that's now um, the musicians. Uh, you know, Charles Lloyd this, this recording was done in celebration of his 80th birthday. It's a live, perform, live performance from um, um, a venue in, I believe, Santa Barbara, um, Librero. And uh, it's, you know, an uh, excellent performance. Uh, Charles Lloyd, you know, even at his age, is still a dynamic. Uh, performer. I have had the opportunity to see him live three times. Once was at the Metropolitan Museum, the Egyptian Room. Uh, the second time was at the Village Vanguard, and where it was his first performance there, I believe, in like 40 years. And the most recent time I saw him at Lincoln Center Rolls Hall with the Marvels, that group that includes um, Bill Frizzell and also um, Lucinda Williams was performing with them. Um, all, three, all three occasions, uh, just an outstanding performance. Uh, he, he engages the audience, uh, his playing is just so strong. The first two times I saw him was not with this group, this group, but with his what's called the New Quartet, which was Jason Moran on piano, Ruben Rogers on bass, and Eric Harlan on drums. And that quartet played you know, played together for a number of years. And you know, in my opinion, they were one of the best working groups in jazz. Um, this is just phenomenal. You know, on this recording, you have, you know, some of the Charles Lloyd, like, classics. You know, uh, on the LP side A, is, it's um, 21 Minutes of Dreamweaver. And that's just a, you know, a, 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 a Lloyd standard. You have them performing Requiem, uh, Shenandoah. He does Florist Flowers. He even does a uh, version 
a rendition of Green Onions with, of course, Booker T. Um, Jones, who is from Memphis, as is Charles Lloyd. But um, this box set, you know, I've shown you what it's comprised of. But um, besides the music and the photographs, this photo book is uh, absolutely outstanding. It's, I want to say it's about close to 100 pages, 90, 96 pages, and it was um, compiled by his, his wife, Dorothy um, Dar. Um, she usually does the photography on um, all of Charles Lloyd's recordings. Um, so it, you know, and it starts in a somewhat chronological, you know, um, fashion by decade. So, you know, you get the beginning um, up until, you know, the, the present. Uh, I just want to show some of these great photographs uh, that I've um, tagged in here. Here's one with Coleman Hawkins. This is amazing. And let's see. Here's one with Ornette Coleman. There's another great photo with Ornette in here that's um, it's also in the, there's a documentary that came out a few years ago where you know Ornette and Charles Lloyd are playing pool and they have a photograph from that um, session. Uh, here's one with the group of uh, Keith Jarrett and Jack DeJanette. Let's see here. Photograph of um, Billy Higgins. There's one with Jerry Allen. And there's one with Don Was. And there it is, there's one with um, Joe, Joe Harley. Uh, Charles Lloyd is the person, the end, um, he gave Joe Harley the name, the nickname Tone Poet. So um, if, if you didn't know that, now you know. <laughs> and here's a photo of him and uh, Jason Moran. I just want to find that really, really great photo of him and Ornette, if I can. If not. Here's a really great photo of Charles Lloyd and Alicia Hall Moran, Jason Moran's wife, at a performance. And um, there's another photo with Charles Lloyd and Jason Moran. Um, uh, I, when I saw him at the Egyptian Room, uh, Alicia Moran performed, and she did a version of uh, uh, "Go Down Moses" uh, with the quartet. It was just it just blew me out of the water. Just it was outstanding. And. There's Charles Lloyd and Michelle Pet I'm gonna Petriani. Just these, I mean, this is uh, this book is just really outstanding. And there's one section that's called Icon Peers and Inspiration, which has just like a collect, you know, a collection of photographs of like all the greats. You know, there's Dizzy. Uh, Toots Thielman, 
Sonny Rollins, Elvin Jones, Benny Golson. I mean, this is a, a great document of a great musician's life and music. Um, and just for this alone, it's worth purchasing the box set. I mean, like I said, it's a hardcover book. You get three, you get three LPs, two CDs, and a DVD. It's all the same performance, but these, you know, what else is included is just outstanding. Um, the, the, the photographs. It's just a, it's one of the best purchases um, that I've made in the past year. So um, that's it. Charles Lloyd, Kindred Spirits, live from the Librero. Box set, limited edition box set, Blue Note Records. Thanks.